Are you a clutterbug? Clutterbug. Hey, welcome back. It's often said that your physical world is a representation of your inner world. And something I believe very strongly as an ex-interior architect is that your physical space affects you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually as well. Our physical space holds energy. And so if we are not conscious of our physical space, what we're bringing into it, how we're treating it, and what we do moment to moment within it, then we can become clutter and things can build up and it can be a buildup of negative energy as well. So I did a post on this a couple of years ago and it was called Zen Your Den. And I'd really like to extend that idea today and share with you a couple of tips to help you with not only Zen in Your Den, you can go and watch that video, it's pretty uh, ancient now, but not only that, but also to help you to complete the cycle and find more rhythm in your daily activities, which is gonna help you relax more at night, as in switch off after work, and also set yourself up with an awesome ritual in the morning or a great start to the day. So it's really simple. Now, if I was to tell you a story, say last night I was super stressed and I couldn't work out why and I just couldn't sleep, and then, I didn't actually tell you the rest of the story, your unconscious mind is gonna be ticking over, wondering what the heck happened, why couldn't she sleep, what was going on, even if you don't really care. You would just, your unconscious mind wants to solve problems and close loops, and it works in your physical and your subconscious as well. Don't worry, I'll tell you the rest of the story, it's pretty basic. But, if you start opening loops in your life and not closing them, you can start to feel scattered your energy gets drawn all over the place and it can be really draining on you as well, especially when it comes to physical clutter. So for example, you go to work and you make a mess on your desk and then you're so busy at work and you just want to get out of there, you think, ah, I'll just clean it up tomorrow. And then you go home and you cook dinner and you're too tired to clean up, so you leave the dishes in the sink and then you go to bed and you wake up and you're feeling a little bit blah and you rush to work and then you get there and you just feel crap because your desk is all <laughs> dirty and it builds up over time and eventually you become drained and frustrated and everything's dusty and there's heaps of clutter and you have to do a massive cleanup. And it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time when really you could have just done a little bit of a cleanup to keep yourself going and keep it sustainable. Now this is such a simple tip, but seriously, the way that I do it has saved my emotional life on so many levels because things just feel sustainable and, and consistent over time. So I have this distinction called closing the loop. Now for example, when you start an activity, you open a loop. When you finish it and you clean up after you have completed it, you close the loop by doing so. So I'll give you an example. Right behind me is a random pile of crap on my desk. So it's super simple. Give yourself two minutes and every day, one key is to have a place for everything and everything in its place. So you go into the pile of crap and you just quickly clear it up. You don't have to, you don't have to deal with everything in that moment. You don't have to go to inbox zero, but you might have a space where you put things that are unpaid and a space where you, where you can actually file things. You might have a bookshelf for all your books, a place for all your pencils, a place to put your teacups, and just generally clean things up so that you can go through the next phase and your desk is clear. So here we go. And there you have it. Simple, quick, effective, very, very fast, but it's gonna allow me to come into my office tomorrow and everything is fresh and I can sit down and start with a clear mind instead of bombarding up against all the promises of yesterday that haven't been fulfilled. It's like starting your day by looking at social media or reading your emails before you've even had a moment to yourself, which is a whole nother blog post in and of itself, right? This is just about you having some little ritual and cleaning up after yourself. Now, how do you make this practical? How do you make it fit into your day? And more importantly, how do we make it joyful? So I have a tip for you. Reward yourself. Now, it doesn't have to be a bunch of flowers or something amazing every single day, but it could just be that all of the things you do in a day that make you feel amazing or that make you feel good or that are your little treats or break times, place them after you've actually done something that helps you stay consistent. For example, you might want to get your daily coffee 
And so you make sure that in the morning, after breakfast, your bed's made, your, um, your breakfast is cleaned up, or you've eaten breakfast, and then your reward can be to go out and get your morning coffee before work. You're going to do it anyway, but it feels so nice to have it as a reward for taking care of yourself previously. It might be that you have a really nice evening ritual. You take a bath, you moisturize your whole body, you listen to some nice music, do some meditation or some yoga. And it might just be that instead of doing that and leaving the whole pile of crap in the kitchen to clean up, you make sure that dinner is complete and everything's cleaned up and put away before you then go and start your evening ritual. Or it might be that before you go home or before you finish work every single day, your reward is finishing work and before you do it, you spend five minutes just clearing up your desk and making a quick plan for the next day. And then you go out, have a glass of wine, do whatever you do after work and really enjoy it as a reward for doing what you want to do. Now, I think it's really important to mention at this point, please do not beat yourself up if you feel like your house looks like a bomb hit it because you've got kids and you're thinking that is so unrealistic, Haley. it's literally impossible. And by the way, that pile of crap, you ain't seen a pile of crap because that is very small and that does not compare to the pile of crap that is in my house. I hear ya, okay? Now what I'm saying is done is better than perfect. Off the desk is better than all over the desk. A little bit is better than nothing at all. So do your best and start where you are because even though it would be really nice to have everything spick and span and perfect, that might not be your reality at this stage in your life. That's okay. But if you take a little bit of time to zen your space and complete each cycle when you do it, it's going to make a huge difference to your emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual life. Now, you might have kids running around. You might be taking care of a lot of people. You might have a phone that rings off the hook, and you might have a really high pressure job where you have to be on the call or on the ball all the time. And this is going to help you so much. So spend two to five minutes at the end of each task, just doing a quick tidy if you can't complete the full cycle. And then devote yourself to a little bit of time, maybe once a month, doing a bit of a deeper declutter so everything does have a place and you can get that space really, really easily. Now, this is super simple and it's a tiny shift in activity, but over time, it builds up for so much spaciousness and so much consistent joy in your life because you're essentially closing the loop at the end of the day on all of the activities that you started. So you're closing the loop on work by cleaning up your work for the day. After dinner, you're closing the loop on dinner and it allows you to move into your evening feeling complete and clear. It helps with sleep. So I have a question for you. What are you now gonna add as a reward to doing the things you already do or what are you gonna now start doing that you're going to reward yourself for with the things you already reward yourself with so that you can have more consistent energy and feel clean and clear and keep closing the cycles of your day. And if you do it, what other tips do you have? How does it make you feel? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, share it along with anyone who you think could really use some advice in closing the loops. And I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.